Hey everybody, Edo here, and I am going to give you an overview on how to play Legendary Creatures. Now, Legendary Creatures is for two to four players, and it's about 30 minutes per player. Let's get started. This is set up for three players, and actually I have this side-by-side -side setup, which is good for a tight table or when you're doing a how to play, but in a, in a, a normal play, you usually have the um, tiles or the boards set up vertically or in a, in a row, and play, players playing on each side. That's what's shown in, in the rulebook, but this certainly works as well. Now, in Legendary Creatures, we are playing as apprentices who are striving to become the next druid of nature's grace, and we do that in a trial. So we're all competing in this trial, sort of like an Iditarod with Legendary Creatures, and we're working to have the most renown after three days. So, how do I get renown? Best way to get it is by moving up these elemental realm. So we have each of us has a familiars, we're going to be working with them and our legendary creatures to move them through the realms with the hopes of getting them all to the way to the end. The last spot here is um, has podiums, so if you're the first one in you get 25 renowned, second 21, 18. You don't necessarily get to the end, especially in a four player game, but even in other games and so some people may be left behind and just get the renown listed there. Now moving in these realms costs resources. You can see here this moving any in these first three spots is one green uh, earth orb and one, uh, two magic. One water and two magic, etc. Then when you move to the, the midpoint, these are two and three, and then three and four. So it gets more expensive to move as you move further up. Um, and that's the primary way you're going to be getting renown. However, there are many other ways you get renown. You get renown, um, the gift of water can give you renown. Um, spells can, can give renown, depending on, on how they're used. Different creatures may, may offer you some renown. Completing expeditions give you renown. So there's a number of ways you're going to get renown, and as you play, a lot of the depth and um, complexity of the game comes through how and when you're going to push your renown and, and, and push down the realm boards. So that's what we're focusing on is moving through the realms. The game uh, occurs over three days. Each day has three rounds. So there's going to be nine total rounds in this game. Round is morning, afternoon, evening, day one. Morning, afternoon, evening, day two. Morning, afternoon, evening, day three. Now, I, I have a reference card over here. This is still work in progress, but the reference card is going to have the round flow, the game flow, and then some, um, you know, icon reference on the other side, something like that. So, we're ready to begin. Everyone's all set up. I have everything set up for everyone. Now, normally you'd have a little bit more space here. Your spells will be um, off in front, and you'll have a little bit more room, but unfortunately, to get this all on camera, uh, in a reasonable way, I had to do it. So, uh, we've all shuffled, and now we're going to draw the top four creatures. So this is on a round. The first thing you're doing is you're, uh, you're going to draw and then do your planning phase. So we're all do this is all hidden information, right? But So I'm going to look at my creatures. Now, let's talk about a creature for a second. Let's uh, start with the Mentor. There are a couple key pieces of information in here. One is their magic power. This will be used for initiative as well as how much magic this creature can generate for me. Second is their affinity. Their affinity says whether or not they get a bonus for one of the realms. So they all have an affinity to one of the four realms. A couple from the vast expanse might have no affinity or all affinity, but for your standard creatures, they all have an affinity to the one of the four. And then they have abilities. Um, these are different abilities. You don't get to use both. You have to use one or the other. So. What I'm going to do is uh, I draw these four, doo, 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 and now I'm going to decide which I'm going to send to my vast expanse, or excuse me, which I'm going to send on an expedition for the end of the day. So I'm going to do this three times and which I'm going to use right now. So looking at these, um, I drew four different realms, so I don't have a clear realm benefit, but looking at the ones that generate um, magic, on pro or, excuse me, orbs, I'm going to start by thinking of them. So. Let's say that I'm going to go with blue. So, I, I'm, I, again, this is going to be played face down. So, so I'm going to go blue. I'm going to send my phoenix off on my expedition. I'll talk about that, but the expeditions are uh, for high magic power. So I'm going to send him off. And then I'm going to order these guys. Um, still want to have initiative, so I'm going to start with my minotaur, then my woogle, and then my centaur. Okay, so. I've taken my turn. Now quickly, just to show, show a different one, I'm going to draw three. Different hand. Um, got the Nightmare, Phoenix, Centaur, and the Griffin. 
certainly have a blue, uh, excuse me, a wind affinity here. So I'm going to go with wind, um, and I will play this, this. Uh, I'll send the phoenix off as well, and I'll, I'll keep the nightmare, because I can gain any resource, which is good. So I'm going to set that aside in, in that order. I know that's off to the side, but we're going to put that here. And again, this is all happening concurrently. And then, we'll just set this here. And then lastly, oops, lastly, we have this player. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Um, looks like Green Realm here, pretty good. Fearsome Bite with the Jabberwock, the Foo Dog. Um, and I will send the Unicorn off to the uh, Expedition. All right, so everyone has, has made these moves. And so now we're gonna reveal. So this is sort of programming. We're all revealing. These are played from left to right, and that's there's there's importance there, but they're played from left to right, and we're gonna reveal for everyone what we have here. So once this is revealed, we, we'll now see who has initiative this round, right? It's the morning, who's got who woke up first and who's ready to go? Well we're gonna use creature power. So Jabberwark's four, Minotaur's three, Griffin is four. Okay? So two players have four. When there is a tie, you look for who has Kajar's amulet. There's one amulet that the holder wins all ties. Uh, in this game, there's another amulet, which is gain two of any resources of any one type, and lastly, one, the amulet of power here, that is gain three magic points. During the game, I'll talk about it in a moment, you can exchange amulets, but for now, this will help us. So, uh, and it's to the clockwise or to the left of the player who has the amulet if they're not in the time. So, between these two players, Green's to the left of Kajar's amulet. So green wins the tie. Or excuse me, not green, black. I apologize. Black wins the tie. All right, so here's what happens. We're going to take their banner and place it at the top. And those will be banner shapes. So that's first player to go. So then red's going to come in here, and they're next. And lastly, we have yellow. Because I had the three. There we have it. First, second, third. So that was first. Now is the spell phase. In that initiative, we are going to resolve the spell phase. Now, initially, on the first morning, people aren't necessarily going to be casting a lot of spells, but there are three spells. There's Amplify, Shadow, Step, and Mind Link. Amplify doubles the resources you generate from a creature. So this is you're going to play it on one of your guys and get a bunch of resources. I'll use this for as, an, as an example on this turn. Shadow Step picks a realm, and if anyone moves in that realm, you're going to move. So this is sort of a a hedging your bet to see where people are going to go. And then we have Mind Link. I pick a link. We, I pick another player and I get one resource of any type, of any of the different types, when that player um, gets one of those resources. So I'm sort of linked to what they're doing. Spells can only be used once per day. So over the course of the three rounds, I need to decide when and how I'm going to use those spells. All right? So, spell phase, blacks first, and Black says, you know what? I'm good. No spells. Great. Red's next. And Red looks across the table over here and says, hmm, Black looks like they're going to go green. I'm going to drop my Shadow Step, and this is probably early, but I'll do it um, in the Earth Realm here to Shadow Step if they, if they, if they move. And then me looking around, I'm going to say, hmm, I agree. I think I'm going to Shadow Step here and get a nice combo because we'll all move forward. But I'm also gonna amplify, I'm gonna amplify my um, Minotaur. Uh, no, I'm gonna actually amplify my Wukul. Okay, so we've all cast our spells. Great, that's resolved. And now we move to the action phase. Action phase is gonna happen for each player. So we look at the board. Black is first. Key thing about legendary creatures is that you need to Invoke a realm. Invoking a realm is going to mean two things. One, invoking a realm is going to mean that is the only realm you can move in. Now, there's a couple ways and items and spells that that can break that, but by and large, if you pick a realm, you've got to move in it. Two, any creatures in your party that have affinity to that realm get plus one to any number on their card. Essentially, plus one magic, plus one... Um, you know, this is an Earth Orb, or plus one Renown. Really advantageous to have that kind of advantage. 
So coming back to Black, he looks at his cards and he says, okay, well clearly you guessed right, I'm going to invoke green. So uh, earth, so I've invoked earth and now let's talk about the face. So the first thing we're gonna look at is our creatures and what we do is we can, again, we can decide to generate magic or use an ability. Now the Jabberwock ability lets you exchange positions with uh, another familiar that's one step ahead of you, but that's not too useful right now at the beginning of the game. So we're just gonna get their magic. Now, again, it is four, however, let's see if I get this right, four, however, I've invoked green or earth, so this is now a five. So, black is going to gain, starting, everyone starts with one resource in this game. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Moving on to the Foo Dog, again, multiple abilities. I can block a realm from anyone else moving in it, but right now I'm not feeling that uh, aggressive and there's not that much going on. So I'm just gonna focus on gaining resources. This would be gain three earth orbs. However, uh, plus one makes it four. Fantastic. So I'm gonna come in here, grab the earth orb and go one, two, three, four, and that. Lastly, I end on uh, the Hippogriff. The ability right now is again one where you're gonna have somebody who's a, uh, you can move back to move forward in a realm, not too focused on that right now. So I'm gonna just focus on magic, no affinity bonus. So I'm just gonna get three. So one, two, three. So I've generated, I have five earth orbs and nine magic. I can spend this. And in fact, just for the, for the sake of an example, let's say I, I, I spent it before uh, one, two, three, before the Hippogriff. I can spend it any time I want, and sometimes there'll be a good reason to do that. But let's look here. So I'm going to, I'm, this is black, I'm gonna grab this guy. So if he wants to move one, two, three spots, that's three earth uh, orbs and, and uh, six magic. So one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six actually going to be putting in a, a zero spot. That's something we're fixing, but that was my spend. I move up. Now, these shadow steps go boop, boop, and we happily both move forward around. So, not bad. Now, I'll finish this up. I'm gonna get this three back, one, two, three, and actually I haven't used my amulet. So I'll gain two of any type. I'm gonna say, great, I'm gonna use my amulet. I can flip it over so I remember, and I get one, two, Looks like I have enough to move one more uh, down the track, so I'm gonna go one more spot. The shadow step only procs once, and that was one, two, three. Again, we were gonna have that zero and one, two. So, that's Black's turn. They moved up in the realm. They're feeling good, and it now moves on to Red. Well, Red is not gonna be in the Earth realm. Red is going to be all the way up at the top and in the um, air realm. Griffin, looking for magic up front, four plus one, oh, bring this on here, four plus one is going to get five magic, one, two, three, four, five, going to come over to the centaur and get four air orbs and go, oops, one, two, three, four, and lastly, we have the, um, Nightmare, gonna get one of one additional air. Again, does not get the bonus uh, because it's a, a fire affinity. Cool, oh, use my amulet of power for three more magic. One, two, three. And now I'm gonna spend just like um, Black did. So it looks like I can go, if I go one, two, three, that would be three air, one, two, three, and oops and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, I can go one more. One, two, boop, and this. Bold move by red, moving along. Now, center me, presumably. <laughs> I'm going to look at what I have. Now, I also am going to invoke green. No, wait, that's not right. I said I was gonna invoke blue. I, I'm gonna invoke blue. And um, so to start, am I gonna be bold? I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna do a couple interesting things, just, you know, to do it. One, 
rather than magic or green orbs, I'm going to gain renown. So I'm going to gain one renown. Not a big power move, but, you know, it's an example. So I get another renown token. So one way to gain renown. Now, with my Woogle, normally this is three. Plus one for the affinity is four. I used Amplified, so this is eight. So I just generated eight blue. Awesome. Do, do, do. Where's my blue? At the bottom. That'll take me to nine. Big move right there. Now, let's talk about something else. Once per round, as you're resolving your creatures, before you resolve a quick creature, you can say, you know what? I want to get a creature from the vast expanse. And in this case, I'm going to take the behemoth. And this gets swapped out. This creature's retired. He's going to go relax. He's taken out of the game. And this, I now get to resolve this creature. So this is team building. This is your creature party. Over the course of this game, the composition is going to be changing. Furthermore, if people, other people haven't taken out of here, I could get a second behemoth. Everyone's got a shot at each creature, but if they don't take it, then you might have that opportunity. So I've, I've, I've moved here. Now, this is green affinity, but the behemoth, boom, six magic. Huge. So I'm going to take that six and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and now start spending to move in blue. Like the other folks, I'm going to go one, two, three on my blue and one, two, three, four, five, six to move, do, 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 wrong guy, do, 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 to here. One, two, so one and two, one and two, one and two. Now I want to keep moving, but I'm out of magic. In the event you have not used your amulet, let's talk about amulet changing, you may pay one renown, one renown to trade your amulet with anyone else. Now I have Kajar's amulet, that's a tiebreaker, but that's okay. And you, 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 I haven't used it. I, I couldn't trade the Amulet of Power if I had just used it and then traded to use something else. You can't use all the amulets. But since I'm not using this in my action phase, I'm going to go trade this with Red. Say, hey, Red, here you go. Actually, noticing, Red, you don't have your Renown. You should have started with five Renown. Let me set you up there. My mistake, Red. Um, and I'm going to take this. And now I'm going to use it for three more magic. One, two, three. So there are all these different ways that you're able to, you know, tweak the system to, to, to move forward. So I'm going to go one, two. One, two, three, uh, one, I think, yep, and that's correct. And then I'm going to go one more. So that was the first round, the morning round of day one. We are now going to have the end of round. We are going to move this track for one. Two, we're going to give out gifts. The player who is furthest in the realm, also Kajar's amulet can be used as a time breaker, the player who is used fur who is moved furthest in the realm is going to get the gift. So in this case, black gets the gift of earth. Each time they generate magic, they get an additional magic. That's a big deal. Two, uh, I have the gift of water. I get a bonus renown every round. Not too shabby. Um, and red over here is air. You may move familiars in all realms. This is a big deal. Now, you still may only invoke one, but this allows you to move in all of them. So super powerful. Over here. We take back our tokens. Boop. Let's move it over here. Set it aside. Set it aside. Set it aside. And we're also going to take back any cast spells. Now, these do not refresh. These do not refresh because that only happens once a day, so we can't use those spells again. Ooh. And uh, this one. Sorry, it's a little tight on the space here. It's fine. All right. That is, we, we've, we've, we've set that up. We then take our used creatures and we're going to set them aside. And I have limited space here, but we're going to do our best to set them aside. Uh, we'll tap them a little bit here. So we start again. So the player is going to draw top four. So again, there's 12 creatures, four per day, or four per round, four, a total of 12 for the day, going to do the same thing. 
again, putting one, two, three down, determining initiative, and um, one to the uh, expedition. So just to go quickly and not to talk through it. All I'm going to do is show you how the day ends. So let's just say we've done this, this, and then that was this was my trash here, whatever, this, this, and this, this. Now, let's assume everyone does their thing and the round ends. So now we are resolving the day. So that so that we had, we moved to the third round. Now we're resolving the day. Okay. So it's going to be a new day. Gifts will get handed back to whoever you know. Appropriate gifts. A couple other things happen. These guys are are set aside like they were. We're going to shuffle these up in a second. Great. But first, we are going to resolve the expedition. So we're going to look at each player. Black has a total of eight plus two, a total of 10 magic or 10 points towards the expedition. That's how powerful these creatures were. This is the farthest, the fastest they got there was 10. Expedition tokens, which no one has in this case right now, would be plus two if somebody had those. Yellow has 11. So far doing well, 11. And red has nine. So yellow gets to pick first, black, and then red. So we go to the expedition board. We look what we got. Kajar's Pyramid, that'll give me six magic. Fid's Tribute, that'll give me four of any orb. And then Ohasa's Tower, place this landmark in front of you, discard it to give your entire party the same affinity for a turn. That is pretty good. However, we also get a certain amount of renown as well. Four for first, two for second, one for third. So in this case, Yale's going to say, you know what? I'm just going to get the six uh, and the four resource. So we get a five here, flip that over, put one back, and then the six magic, one, uh, three, nine. Great. Uh, second player in this case, Black, says, you know what? For one more run out, I'm going to take this affinity. That's going to be really helpful to me. And so I'm going to get my one run out. And that means that red over here gets any four. Let's just say they take red and also two run out. Okay. So we've Everyone's going to shuffle up their creature deck. Now, again, remember, we may have different decks at this point because we've used the Vast Expanse and have these all shuffled up. And then the last thing we're going to do here is we can go to the Vast Expanse and discard the current creature, sorry, Chimera, and reveal the next, the Goblin in this case. One magic, five red, but resolve a named ability of a creature in your discard pile in your phase. Pretty awesome. Dragon, who's normally pretty cool, we're gonna pass along here and move and see, ooh, the mermaid. And lastly, we're gonna behemoth. I'm a big behemoth fan because you get the magic and the initiative opportunity. And we are gonna flip over the fairy. Oh, just so happens these are the different five resources all with cool abilities. So we also flip over these landmarks for the next set. Oh, and this one, this is one that'll give you those expedition tokens. And uh, we then play and move and play and move. So we'll go through the whole set. Oh, also, because it's, the, it's a new day, all of our spells 
are refreshed. So this is the time when your spells all flip back over. So basically, it's like the first day. Play, play, play. So, let's assume for a second, we've been doing our things and playing and playing and playing and playing. Tick, 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 tick. People have gotten these and resolved them, whatever they do. We have different renown that we're grabbing, and I don't know, we're just gonna go a little over here, a little over here, whatever over here. We've used our creatures, the gifts have moved back and forth, and let's just fast forward to here, 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 I don't know, here, here. Let's say it looks something like, like, like this. I don't know. Looks like I'm favoring yellow a little bit. Let's, let's, let's go that. Who knows what happened? Anything could have happened. So, it's the end of the game now. At the end of the game, we will still have one last trip to, one last trip to the expeditions, uh, the expedition board, the landmarks. But this time, you, um, each player is going to flip over, uh, flip over their cards and uh, resolve magic like we've been doing. But instead of getting a landmark, you get the renown here plus the renown there. So it'd be eight, four, and two. Um, unlike before where you can choose, now you just go by initiative so there's no king making. But so anyway, you resolve that. We distribute some more stuff. I don't know. I'm not even gonna look, but eight for here, four, actually four and two. That's what happened. So creatures are now done. Sorry, one, two, three. Creatures are now done. And uh, let's rock. So how do we do final scoring? Pretty easy. One, you're going to flip over your, all your renown and add it up. And since this is sort of a fake game, I'm not going to actually figure out who won, but you're going to add all of your renown up. You can have people who score a lot in this phase and some who score less. So that's that. You will then add up here. So if I'm yellow, 9 plus 21 plus 25 plus 5. Red is 25 plus three plus seven plus 25. Black. The last bit is for every five total resources you have, you get one more. So like here would be like um, one, two, uh, one, two plus four, six, 10 and nine, 19. So I'd get three. You don't, you don't round up. So three extra right now, whatever. And we're not really keeping gap, but whatever, three. So add all that up, total, see who wins. If there's a tie, player with Kajar's Amit, ooh, there's a resource in there, um, wins the tie. That is legendary creatures. Again, there's a lot going on, but every turn you really feel like there are a lot of interesting decisions you can make to sort of move up and down, play in different realms, where do you invoke, when do you cast the spell, Who's who are you jockeying to get in front of behind, um, you really have this rich and dynamic experience as you play through these three days to see who, who comes out on top. So do check it out and thanks for watching.